Welcome back, guys. Well, this is Ozzy again with Punch Overland, and uh, I'm glad you made it back. Well, we talked last week about doing a trailer walk around, off-road trailer and a rooftop tent, and that's what we're going to be doing this time. We're going to hook this thing up and take off and go find a spot to show what it's all about. See you in a bit. Here we go, guys. Finally on the road. I headed out to a no, oh, pretty nice spot, fairly close to the house here. Well, guys, check out that scenery. I'm talking about those mountains off in the distance. That's where we're headed.
anyways, we made it up here. Um, got some wind starting to pick up, but we're still going to go ahead and open this thing up and show you what's going on here. Got some cool scenery off in the background. There's that uh, trailer and uh, rooftop tent. That's what we're getting into now. I'm going to leave this thing hooked up to the car because I'm not staying here tonight. The tent part of this trailer, guys, is on a, a jack setup, and you can see it under there. And in order to jack that up, you have to take the pressure off a little bit, and then you go around to each corner, and you pull these pins, and then you can crank it up. The nice thing about this is, you can leave it down, you don't have to crank it up, so if you pull in and it's late at night or whatever, and you just don't want to set it up, then you can set the tent up but you don't have to set the whole trailer up by jacking it up just like any other roof tent rough top tent guys you got your zippers here and anybody that's watched anything like this you've seen how it's all done this isn't anything new but we got to go through the process to get it opened up and we're gonna go ahead and unzip it here before we crank it up so you can get the full effect here so got a bag on it just throw the bag off to the side I always leave my bag hooked up some people take them clear off and throw them underneath but throw mine off like that leave it hooked up while it's down low I get everything else ready unclip the clips on it I like to get the tent set up first thing before I go into the setup with everything else just in case the weather turns bad I can get in out of the weather slide my ladder over takes a little bit of muscle guys but it's not too bad once you get it started and then you just crank into it until you get it up to the height you want it then you go back around and Put the pins back in so it don't fall down on you overnight. Okay, after you get everything all jacked up and the pins put back in, you set it back down on the pins just a little bit. And then you flip it open. Nice thing about this being on the trailer is you don't have to pack it up if you want to go somewhere if you're gonna stay for a while you can just leave it set up you don't have to take it with you well there's that part of it guys That's the extended part. I'm not going to put the annex on it today, guys, but what the annex does, you can see that zipper, it starts in that corner, zips all the way around the zipper, and it gives you that much extra room. If it's cold out or windy or you're staying more than a couple of days, you can put that annex on. We put it on sometimes, most of the time. <clears throat> most of the time we don't use it. This is the model, the, I think the medium-sized CVT tent awning. This is the small one, and they make a bigger one, but <clears throat> it didn't have room on the trailer. So, <clears throat> But we decided we needed a 
awning then this I'm gonna set this one up for you to give you an idea most of you guys know probably what an awning looks like but you don't know what it looks like on my trailer so that's the awning set up guys got a nice place to get out of the rain if you need to when you're doing all your little chores washing dishes or whatever it is I'm not gonna set this back awning up guys it's identical to the side one it's just not as wide gives us a little place when we cook because our kitchen's on that back tailgate there and that's what we're gonna open up next is that kitchen and you have to turn these little knobs here there it's hooked to that swing gate for the back I used to have it pulling out the sides but it just wasn't convenient so that's the storage in there the stove of course you can see is on top there at the side little canisters here for the propane for the stove you work for my buddy eater as well. So those straps come off of there and the stove opens and cook right there. <clears throat> I use this top deck. To set all my boxes on, my food boxes, my utensil boxes. coffee boxes that one there paper plates all the stuff stored right in there right with the stove right in the kitchen <laughs> coffee pot you can see there to get that stove all set up there's a shelf here that actually pulls out the stove sitting on it right now so I can't I'm not gonna pull it out Got some extra boxes in here guys storage boxes um, toilet toiletries are in there my stuff for my uh, I call it a briefcase toilet it's one of those fold outs with a bag that stuff's in there uh, my buddy heater is in the one with the yellow top on it and that piece of uh, butcher block you see there is an actually a, a countertop for the side of the trailer. I'm going to install that now and show you how that works. Well that piece stores right in that spot you saw me take it out of and then it just hooks up up on the side there and that's what we use well just a regular I don't know I call it a dish pan it's a catch-all whatever we set that up there and do our dishes this other piece here is a where we put our water container it goes on the side here on that little post right there I'm gonna to have to put the camera down to hook this up and that's where we put our uh, just our regular blue jug our water jug I think it's five or six gallons it sits right there and then that way we can do our dishes right there we wash our hands right there we <clears throat> have water for when we do our cooking and it's all right there for making our coffee so water is pretty central to the setup the other thing I built into this that's uh, pretty important to the setup went without it for a long time but 
ammo box on the side there and you can see it's got a switch on it and inside of that thing is the house battery for the for the trailer so as I pull it down the road the car charges that battery and <clears throat> so far we haven't had any issues with that just like for the camper trailer I guess and then the fuse block and everything's there because we got some off-road off-road lights here set up that one, one back there there's one that shines down on top of the kitchen so when we cook at night we can see one here so we can see to get into our front box here and actually if you can see that cabling there's a cable that goes into that riser tube and it's a, a coil cable that coils up and I fished it through there so I could hook it into this other little box up here because we got some, uh, some lights inside of our tent and some USB ports for charging our phones inside the, the tent now and then the switches if you can see those there's three switches right up here the one switch actually that switch has to come first turn that switch on you can see that lights on and that's what these three switches do one switch turns the front one on the middle switch turns those two side ones on that's underneath the awning and then that back switch turns that backlight on and it shines right down on top of the kitchen so as we're doing our nighttime duties or are we cooking after dark, whatever it is, let's put those three switches on. There's another fuse block. And all the wiring inside of there and that fuse block there takes care of all these upper lights, those off-road lights that we use for lighting stuff up. And the reason that had to be up there is because that... Uh, the top that top raises up and down and so there was no way to keep it plugged in without putting a, a curly cable through that riser there and then inside the tent I'll show you in there here in just a second well this is the inside of a rooftop tent I guess uh, this one's a 72 wide so it's six foot wide and when it's opened up it's eight foot long so 96 inches in that corner is a USB port that's uh, compromised my trailer a little bit, I, or my, not my trailer, but my rooftop tent, because I put a hole in the floor and put a USB port through there, and then, of course, sealed it back up with silicone. There's one on that corner, too, just right in the corner. Lift up the corner, plug in, so you can plug your phone in, charge your laptop, whatever else you need to charge up, <clears throat> and then I got a light. A lot of these tents nowadays come with lights, mine didn't, so I installed one, but there's your switches here. They got different modes, we don't use anything except turn it on the light, push it in, hold it, turns it back off. We use a different, you can see it gets brighter as you push that, it's got like seven different brightnesses I guess or whatever. It's, just an LED strip light. Anybody can put one in uh, their tents, trailers, cars, bedrooms, whatever you want to put it in. You can put it in there. Oh man, I'm laying down here flat on my back in this tent. And, ooh man, I think I want to take a nap.
anyway, it's supposed to start snowing this afternoon, so got to keep moving here. Okay, I'll see you down there. Trash a room, some kind of a trash bag. Everybody needs one of those somewhere. There's that front setup. Spare tire on the tongue. Tongue box. Those little brackets there on the side of the tongue box are for uh, one, maybe two. I got two one gallon roto packs. One goes on that side. One goes over there on that side. A door into each side, actually, too, that I'll open up for you here. So we've got a door like that all the way through on that side over there as well. So you can open it up all the way and get in there if you needed to. If you had the annex on it, you could open up that side and get in there for stuff. Well, time to put it all away. That's it, all wrapped up. Hey guys, it's me again. And I just decided I'd stop over here at Brenton Aaron's on my way home from doing the trailer walk around because we've got twins, I guess. <laughs>